Hello, everyone, and welcome to Stay of the Realm, I guess, which is now a daily show, but just for our FanFest special. We're here with day two of our FanFest coverage, where, at the very least, we will be covering the live letter, uh, same fashion that we did the day before. Uh, we can't co-stream it. It won't be on stream the whole time, so for those of you tuning in, catching this on YouTube, you will just be hearing the discussion and the reactions to the things that we're hearing and seeing, but all the same, should be a good time. But for that, we're going to need some hosts, and pretty much the whole crew has returned from yesterday. So, Mr. Happy, Sly, Ethis, Magic Man, and Tarkov. How's everybody doing today? Is everyone rested up and recovered and uh, whatever it is nope. you... T nope. Okay. You're still erect nope. from yesterday. Is no, no recovery. Yeah. I'm too excited to sleep. Too excited mm -hmm. to see. I did not have that issue. Crimo. <laughs> Crimo. <laughs> I've got a team of EMTs just like standing by outside the door. <laughs> They they tried to drag me away <laughs> to the the emergency room and I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm, nope, yeah, so not yet. So for those of you on YouTube, the giant text on the screen is in place of the live letter. Uh, the opening keynote is the only thing that was allowed to be co-streamed. We confirmed that yesterday, uh, which means we can't have it on screen and be reacting to it necessarily the way that we want. So Cadgar is a multi Twitch link which allows you to watch two streams at once. Uh, all the same, we'll be discussing the details as they come up, uh, and uh, you know what? Uh, that's the best we can do. So uh, deal with it. I don't know Much what else to production say. Production quality. Yeah, absolute top quality that we could possibly get. Yeah, mm -hmm. at this is yeah, but at this has looked like he's partying, pretty much for the last. I'm always time. partying, yeah. baby. Exactly. Don't mm -hmm. say. Pay that. no attention to it saying keynote at the top of the screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just this. This is this is five people, so it works. Here, you know what? Here, mm. I can I can solve that issue here. Right, let's let's do this. All right, let's. Uh oh. Here we oh. go. Watch this. Mm. This is this is some fucking vampirism right here because I'm gonna make this thing eat itself. Uh, let's see. I Isn't that cannibalism, to... not vampirism? No, it's gonna suck the blood first. Ah, I get there you go. Ah. It's just gonna yeah. bite it. It's, is... gonna, it's gonna take it's gonna take a little suckle. Is vampirism cannibalism? Is it like a subcategory I'd or, or like a completely different thing? I, I, you know, I say. Well, yes. if a vampire okay. is sucking on a vampire, mm -hmm. then sure. Do you, do you think people are food? <laughs> well, are. I mean, it's the difference between eating and drinking, isn't it? Right, there. like it's a, it's sort of viscosity yeah. issue. <laughs> well, I would, I would assume vampires are their own species, so it wouldn't be cannibal. Mm -hmm. Wait, oh no, no, no. yeah, there's a whole like ontological issue there, isn't it? Like, mm -hmm. you're the same person after you've been vampirized. Y'all are just getting me excited for Castlevania on Monday. Like, Word. Yeah. Right, I'm still fixing it. I'm still fixing it. Hold on. I sent you one. <laughs> I thought this is. Oh wait, I thought. Okay, I guess I. Uh, the one update. I sent you today had the text changed. Oh for... okay. Well, there. I've also <laughs> fixed it. There we go. <laughs> no, I th I changed. I guess it didn't take the change or it didn't save. There you go. <laughs> there on the fly editing. That's it. Now it says live. <laughs> there you go. Ten out of ten. Fix. Outstanding. Yeah. Oh I, my listen. God, the production quality. <laughs> I'm so good at this. Here, let me fix it for real now. <laughs> yeah, because I did. I did change it before. It just didn't take the change. I guess. So you use OBS. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's saved in your app app data folder <laughs> since you didn't oh take it out of the presentation. Oh my god. No, yeah, I just, that's that weird. No, the one for, you sent me earlier, yeah. it's not, that's, hmm. It, I did, I, the one I just downloaded off Some the thing. Later. High quality no, stuff yeah, right it's there. Still not, it's still on update. Production volumes off the charts. Live letter, why is he not taking it? That's so weird. Uh, let me do this real quick then. Let's do some on the fly on the fly mid string because I don't I don't I, gotta... I hope it's as pretty as our last on the fly fix. <laughs> yeah, no, I that's so weird because <laughs> I'm literally clicking the one that you gave me and it's not it won't update it for some reason. It's just like refusing were, to. Yeah, probably so, uh, you were so them. good at OBS. No, OBS just Delete doesn't like ad me. scene. I don't know why I did. I can't. I hope my new PC fucking resolves all of these like random ass issues that we've had. Yeah, that's so weird. It is saved. Here, oh, I'll just resave it. It, it won't. It's not going to. That's yeah. yeah it's not. Well, it even I, says that's the file says new PC. The, it even says live letter special is the name of the file, but it's still showing the one that uh, we're using right here. That's so strange. It even says it's the correct image. Uh, let's see. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Now it's working. I just saved it again. And just named it again. There we go. See, it's perfect. Although I'm not gonna lie, I think my what I did was probably better. So, <laughs> um, 
I guess. We, hey, I guess look at that quick on the fly fix. I guess. I guess we can live with this. That's fine. <laughs> Chad, have you tried shutting it off and turning it back? That's on? exactly what I just did, basically. <laughs> and Sly comes up. Sly's camera yep, looks a little different now. Looks a little different now. Sly now. Oh, and Sly's not missing. Sly's right there. Yeah, He's Sly's there. Him. He just looks a little different. That's yeah. all. Yeah, looks fabulous. Yeah, got all dolled up. Should be should be flipped the other way so he's doing the look at, at me though I think. Uh, <laughs> no, trust me, he doesn't wrong. want to look at you. <laughs> no, actually, that's that's a good point. Yeah, so he's literally trying to not be associated with that face. Hey, am I the only one wearing FanFest merch right now? Yeah, I'm yeah, wearing I'm, I'm wearing, I'm wearing what I call the most narcissistic shirt. shirt that I own. I have the boxers on, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. it's the most on. narcissistic shirt that I own. Yeah, Twitch partner shirt. <laughs> You don't have any of your own merch? You can go more narcissistic than that. Yeah, I guess that's true. But yeah. I feel like my, none of my shirts just scream, this person thinks they're important more than they are, mm -hmm. than this. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. I, so that's, mm -hmm. that's definitely uh, definitely the thing that we're looking for. The most. Yeah, Sly's the only one who got dressed up two days in a row. Everyone's like, only for the keynote. I'm not fucking... Yeah, ke up keynote, like I was... <laughs> I'm not fucking showing up for that. All, all fly for that. So it's going to be starting in a couple minutes, just so everyone is aware again. Uh, please use the co-stream if you are watching us live on Twitch, on YouTube. Don't worry, most of you I know listen to us audio only anyway and don't really care. So, besides, our normal live letter shows don't have the live letter on the screen, so just it's like all the rest of them, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So that's all there is to it. And now I pour myself a cup of coffee and I will certainly have to make another. I kind of want to make the honey toast after we're done with our live letter coverage. Because I do have Ooh. enough to make another one. <clears throat> it just takes a while for the toast to actually like get brown in the oven. Because you have to do it in the oven. You can't just like toast it real quick. And I don't have like a... I haven't looked at the recipe. Is it is it like French toast but with honey? So it's... You take like... A giant not chunk really. of yeah, not really, because it's not like egg or anything. Mm. So um, mm. you basically take like a chunk of like a loaf of bread, and you mm -hmm. put like butter oil or ghee oil or something and honey over mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Then you toast it, okay. and then you make. Right. And then they ask you to make like vanilla ice cream, you know, dark chocolate, Moogle eyes, and a maraschino cherry nose, and you know, all the decorations. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to do that, you can just you know do sprinkles and and ice cream and shit. And then it's just whipped cream, fruit, chopped up. And then ice cream, and then all that, and you're good. So it's it's literally just toast with honey and ice cream on it. Pretty much. That's why it's really easy to make. Is the thing cooking? It's really really easy. It's like a nice. It's it's, it's, it's honestly a dessert anyone could just make and enjoy. It's easier than most of the other things on there. The omu rice is probably the other easy thing. Honestly, none of them are that bad. Like croquets are. You just have to croquets. You just have to make all the ingredients in advance and then mush them together and fry them. Yeah. All right, they are getting started right now. Uh, for anyone Here wondering, there is an English translation available for the live letter, so we will, you know, we, we won't be sitting here waiting. If there wasn't, we might actually have something on the screen. Almost the one time where it would actually be beneficial for it to have no translation, so Reddit does one. And we have something that doesn't just say watch watch it on, <laughs> the, on the screen. <laughs> yeah. All right. So there, oh, I didn't get changed. He's still wearing the fat chocobo hoodie. There we go. All right. Letter from the producer live part. What is that? 64? That's 64. No, that's 74. 64. 74, yeah. Yeah, 74. 74? I saw the 64? XIV and I that's got like really so many. No, it is 64 because L is 50. That's it's going to be 64. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. If, we'd had, if we'd had 69 by now, we'd know it. Yeah, that's true. Five so more. we're not in the 70s. Don't worry. Five more and we'll have 69. <laughs> Woohoo. I don't know why the XIV got me like super confused for no reason. Even though I knew L was fifty and X was ten, my, my brain. Says the like, guy laughed. that used to co-host a show called XIV Reborn, and everybody got <laughs> mad. It's like it's not XIV; it's it's Roman numerals for fourteen. <laughs> I remember that discussion a yeah. few times. Yeah. All right. Like no, fourteen is the game. XIV is the show. It's not hard. Yeah, that's just imagine if Nintendo sixty four was in Roman numerals. <laughs> The Nintendo oh LXIV. Yep. 
So they're going to be talking about 5.55 up first, and then ah, and then the live section with uh, Ishikawa. That's right, I forgot. Ishikawa is supposed to be in the second half of this. Yeah. Word. And it's a live Q&A. Oh, uh-huh. no. I read the forums for these live Q&As in advance. It was a bad idea. Uh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> There's better always. 50% peaches? No, actually, a lot of them were pretty good, but some of them were just, it's the usual, like, why are you asking the main scenario writer about yeah. Yeah. this? Like, where, where's, yeah. I think there's, where's male Vieira question there, ironically enough. <laughs> <laughs> why won't you? There's write? always, like, a lot of good ones that get, f- that get submitted, but they seem to get filtered by popularity. There's so some popular most questions that, get that don't through. get taken, though, because, like, they're just dumb, yeah, but, but, like, people still want, yeah. <laughs> people still want yeah. to know. Oh man! All right. Mm-hmm. Six point oh PLL in a few months. Yeah, I don't suspect we'll have more than two mm-hmm. more live letters, even though it's a really long wait. Really? But I mean, what are they gonna t- like? What are they gonna do? They're gonna do the the one with the job actions probably now in October, mm-hmm. and then what else are they gonna mm-hmm. like? What else do they have to talk about in the meantime? Like they're probably they doing could a have, they could they could pretty much have a dedicated PVP one. Yeah, but no one's going to watch that. <laughs> I see that. I'll watch it. There you go, May 25th. All right. That's basically what we were suspecting. Yeah. I mean, they said end of May at the last live. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. no surprises there. The only thing I don't like about this is that it's Bojda and 5.5 Part 2 on the same day. <laughs> they said they were going to do it this coming Tuesday, but that that would be kind of... Not a good idea. <laughs> no. That yeah, that would be um, pretty hectic. For us especially, yeah. Oh, man. Not more quests! No! I don't want any more Yorha quests! Stop! I don't want it! Just let you it end! Up with them? <laughs> Come on. That's the you problem. 100% you need... knew there was going to be an epilogue. No! <laughs> this is oh, the man. epilogue. We still need ending B, C, D, and E. Aye, oh aye, my aye. god. <laughs> Lolly fucking ho. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. You knew it was coming though. Just this whole six weeks has been awful the sixth week is the one i was hoping would finally be good well look i mean you have six months to do them so you can (laughs) you can delay and procrastinate a little bit if you want (laughs) oh i hope they're good maybe they'll be good maybe they'll be good right you're trying to talk Mm. yourself into that maybe they'll (laughs) no maybe they'll be good come on i've been trying to talk ourselves into it for every year All right. Mm, okay. What else we got? Yeah. Hello, huh? We knew that. What happened? A little bit. Okay, yeah, we know we're getting the PS5 beta on the uh, on the patch day. Yeah. For the three well, people the, that, well, not, that have yeah, one. Not the, Excuse hey, me. Hey. One you of them is here. In the you know the irony of that statement? It sold more than the PS2 has in the same frame of time, despite being understocked. Yeah, but it's only sold to three people somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is the official service. This isn't the beta. It's yeah, that's not beta. It's already in beta. This yeah. is the. Uh, I've been playing. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry. Yes, this yeah. is the the official. This is yeah, yes. I misspoke. I misspoke. Yeah. yeah, I wonder if there's any. Have they made any? I know there's there's been some complaints about certain things with it. I've heard about some like random frame rate drops based on the way that it loads mm. in because it lo- you actually load faster than the people. I don't know if you've. Oh seen yeah. It. yeah. Tark, have you? What's your experience there? You you primarily play on PS5. Yeah, yeah, I play on the PS5. Um, in the distance, you'll have a, a few graphical glitches, little 
a bit of tearing here and there, especially on stairs and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, you load in super quick. I, I feel like you load in before your character loads in. <laughs> um, it's that fast, but so it hasn't overall, finished my experience, rendering. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, it's overall, like the, though, the load times are faster really good than the render play. times. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's I heard. wild. That's wild. That's so cool. Honestly, it it's happens awesome. on my SSD now too. Is the weird thing, but I think the oh the, truly yeah SSD gives me the same thing. I load in the Limsa and then everyone pops in a second mm. later. I haven't noticed that on my SSD. Well, get a better one. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right I'll do save, that. Save the queen. I don't. I don't think this is going to take that long. There's going to be like, hey, Zadnor. They're going to reiterate rank twenty-five. I mean, that long in the live letter to talk about. Oh right. Okay. See, this this is like what's going to kind of make or break the next six months. Well, it's not going to make the next six months. I'll tell you that much. There's no chance. Yeah, I think it's. I think yeah. it's either just not break relatively. Six months. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> relatively. Yeah. Okay. Northeast of Boja, sunken plateaus. Okay. We yep. knew this already. This is from yeah, the we last knew live already. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's. Listen, I like duels as much as the next guy, but I'm not doing duels for the next six months. <laughs> Stop. It's not happening. <laughs> yes, not you are. <laughs> I just need to make money. As long as I can make money in Bozja, that's all that matters to me. Because I, I need he'll to make do them for a week. He'll do duels for like a week. He'll just get like yeah. A, I gotta get the new title, title and not and wear it, it because I have a way better yeah. title now. Yeah, <laughs> you do. <laughs> text flickering. Oh, they're right. I didn't even notice the text was flickering <laughs> until somebody pointed it out. Thanks for ruining it for me. Mm-hmm. Oh, we knew, crap, we knew about too. all this. Dalriada. Yeah. Dalriada. <laughs> Which, um... Mm-hmm. Dude, I can't fucking wait. Yeah. I love that there's people who just never got their, their, mora- their uh, morale back. They just never did it after they lost it all from Savage. And they were all, I'm like, what did you think was going to happen? They told us there would be more ranks after 15. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot. Probably 12 or 13. And after rank 25, we get stronger. I can't wait to go back Very into... Drunk. To, the Lubrum Savage after rank 25. Just one shot everything. <laughs> I just can't wait. I'm going to go monk too. I'm going to just, I'm, I can already do like 40k DPS and normal now. I, I mm. can't wait to go back in once we have the post rank 25 stuff. You'll have to get a one punch man glamour. Well, it takes more than one punch. <laughs> that, would, that would get a Keiko face from me if I was in control of it. <laughs> yeah, challenging boss. There it I'm is. Sure. <laughs> Every time I hear the word challenging, yes. I'm like, yeah, yeah, there's that adjective again. Yeah, that adjective. <laughs> challenging is the most historic for it's, crying out loud. Very, you keep using that word. I do not think it means what you think it I, means. I think in the Japanese slide, it might also just say several new bosses. <laughs> <laughs> Inconceivable. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, look at my beautiful boys. You'll have female Hrothgar uh, in a few years. Don't worry. Not years. Stop it. Yeah, like 7.0. Years. I don't think they'll be done before that. 7.0? Yeah, I, I reckon. I reckon like 6.4, maybe. The Warrior of Light yeah, must make mid, a mid difficult expansion. decision. Is this, It's going to be like a BA level Ooh. decision where you make it and yeah, then you immediately say, reverse yeah. it. Yeah. 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 There's no difficult decisions in this game. Stop it. I wonder why this was called wasn't called a challenging decision. <laughs> I think they mean difficult decision as in like it's prohibitively difficult to actually make a decision. No. Like it's not gonna matter, your decision. Gabron's gonna yeah, Gabron's gonna hold his hand out and be like, join me. I'm sorry. Join me. There you go. And if you say yes, then you're gar- you're part of Garlemald now. Smile. You know what? They could do that because then Garlemald just gets blown up, and it's like, well, 
<laughs> well, to be fair, he also doesn't, doesn't want to be part of Garlemald. He wants to make his own empire. So. That's true. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Yeah, they just said where you end up will change depending on what decision you mm. make. So no, I mean, it's going to be like BA. I think it's just going to be like the yeah. BA decision. Yeah. In Japanese, it just says a decision. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to make me New Game Plus this shit over and over again, aren't you? Yes. In fact, yes. For six months. <laughs> six months. Well, you know, they are, are continuing the fucking near quest, so I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Man, you hate near. Oof. No, I don't. I haven't finished it yet, so I can't have an opinion. Next week. Oh, I'm sorry. No, not next week. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Look away. Oh, shit. Look away. Look away. Turn around. <laughs> I can't Turn look around. Around. Right. Don't Paladin. look at the eye. Look away. See, they even just said it. <laughs> Looking at it makes you want to turn away. <laughs> What's that little scarecrow looking thing? Hey, Belias, Ooh. number two. <laughs> yeah. Belias again, or Belial, I guess, whichever you prefer. Oh. Hey, look at the Gubu in the back. It's the undead Gubu. <laughs> Belias. He's chilling. Yeah, he's like, just chilling. The one Gubu like, in the back. What's, what's going on over there, guys? <laughs> yeah, is that a... I guess that... You know what? This isn't too surprising, because mm. they, they went to the lighthouse. Mm. I mean, you got to remember yeah. that... True. Know, yeah, they, they... Yeah. Oh, boy. That... On the other hand, was maybe it was in the lighthouse, but oh. yeah, Shem, that's Shem Hazai. That's another oh. Esper, yeah. Oh, well, this guy's back. <laughs> that's a dual get. Oh, God. That's the boss from a bond. I mean, it's, it's another Final Fantasy boss, but yeah, that's a duel. This one, this one's not Galleon, though. The one no. that we fight in the um, dungeon has the third eye. This one doesn't. Yeah, and also he's wearing Bosch armor. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's got Captain Bosch von Ronsenberg of Dalmasca armor. And you have to say the whole thing every time. I really like this use <laughs> like of the perfect the Alexander. Man. The perfect Ooh. Alexander model here. We saw this in the trailer. I'm a big fan of this. Yeah, I see. yeah this is um, obviously what constructors become. Yeah. This is the, the the finale of all those construct tests from Menanias. Gives me back um, warrior vibes. What what's what's the guy's name who holds all the tests with the constructs in Southern Front? It's not Menanias. Uh no, no, it's not. It's not Aulus. It's um Sicinius. <laughs> Damn it. Sicinius, yeah. There you go. That's right. Yeah. There we go. And then there's the, someone in Pinello. Yeah, look, look at the other guy in the Pinello gear. <laughs> <laughs> Silly bard. <laughs> the bard and the Pinello gear. Well, we know range physical is Pinello. I just want to finish the story. I want the story more than anything that is in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got some I have the YouTube chat open as well, just to keep tabs on it. Decision. And for the last five seconds, the only things in English that flew by were Gundam and Pinello. <laughs> 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 that was it. There's Pinello. That's cute. They were like, it's got a hat. Show it on something, not Vieira. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna let that go, are you? It's a it's a headband though. It's not a it's not a proper hat. Yeah, so that might, might actually Vera. work on Vieira then. Yeah. 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 It might not, but it might. <laughs> Ooh. That's a two-seater mount. Oh. That's a good one. I like that. See, why oh, would I waste so my big. money on a lunar whale when I can just have that? That's the same skeleton as uh, Fenrir. I think, I think, yeah. Similar. Very similar. Yeah, these are the bikes. Ooh. That's Balthier's bike yeah. from uh, 12. Oh, I love that. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, that's that so cool. Yes. <laughs> I'm a fan. 
Definitely. Now, he said there would be something that we absolutely want. I don't know if it's that bike. Gazebo. The gazebo. Is it a wild gazebo? I hope they tamed it. Yeah, it's a wild gazebo. <laughs> hmm. That's the whole point of the content is to tame the wild gazebo. They're dangerous. Said even more about Save the Queen. Challenging new gazebos. <laughs> <laughs> Chat. Resistance honor oh, system. Man. So it is merits. Uh, it's yep. not just you get mm. new gear at 25. It is actually like merits from Final Fantasy XI. Yep. I guess it's really Ooh. just more like a prestige system. It's your merit farms going. Yeah. So someone that hasn't played eleven, explain that one to me. So when you hit max level, you keep gaining experience points and you can spend, you earn merit points and now you earn limit points and then you can buy upgrades for your job and your character. Right. Sufficient metal may be used to acquire proofs of metal. That is prestiging. That is very, oh no, that's merits. That is still very much that's in the way still of merits. merits. Yeah. 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 A proof of metal is a merit. <laughs> This is very much merits. Exchange for three types of honors that increase after. Yeah, that's fucking merits ten, ten times they, over. They ripped it right out. <laughs> 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 like it is the same damn thing. Nope. But if we, if we name it something different, they won't know. Maripo PT. Looking for, looking for Maripo Party for Calibris, please. By the way, I don't say that like it's a bad thing. No, right? no, no, it's fine. It, you know, sons of fortitude, valor, and sucker. Damage do. dealt, HP, and healing potency. I do. Oh, I've been you're not down. For you're not years. down with uh, metal uh, merit. I'm not. Uh, no, this works no, fine. I'm not down with it. This no, is. I'm not. It's not that I'm down with merits. It's just I'm like, so, like so many people bitch about this game like being its own thing. Yet it's more eleven than anything in certain aspects, especially with like Eureka last time. And how, you know, we want something different. Yeah, but 11. they learned their lesson with you, Reese. <laughs> True, but 11. Yeah, there's Even a word they, they, they specifically said that the post-rank 25 progress would make the Lubrum easier. That was word for word what they mm. said in the previous yep. live yep. letter. Yep. So is it is it just me, or is there only one type of honor there? <laughs> Valor. Yeah, I'm only saying one. <laughs> it's like with the, it's redundant. like with the twenty four man slide. They just keep I leaving see, sections. I open. see three bullet points, like yeah. the dots, but I only see yeah. text on one. Yeah, it's weird. Very weird. I don't know if they see. finished this slide. Y'all are the fucking reason that Astro changed. Shut the fuck up and leave it. <laughs> you mean why it's <laughs> better? It to Twitter. <laughs> They're, they're telling people to take their time grinding these, or it's gonna, t or they're gonna hate themselves. <laughs> That's definitely Final Fantasy XI, then. So grind it all That's out. True. Got it. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, got it. So make all the relics. Got it. Do it. Do it. Yeah, they're even like you got six months. Like, relax. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So grinding it out. Unlocking Zadnor, slightly better than Eden Promise Savage. That's the same as it always is. And then mm -hmm. the first one is worse than the rest. I, I'm, I, I think I've, I'm a big fan of the first one being the hardest to upgrade. I think it worked pretty well for the other steps. I like that too, yeah. Yeah. Has there been anything new here yet, though? This is new. Like, I, I mean, feel, this is expected, like but it's new. Yeah, I feel like it's Ooh. been review and what was presumed to have hap be happening anyway. Yeah, they're just mostly confirming yeah, for now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of people who never nothing take these surprising for at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I've been, a, I've definitely been a big fan of the way I've, I felt more encouraged to do more relics. I normally only do two, if that. Eureka, I actually felt pretty encouraged after they nerfed Pagos. Yeah, people will ask these questions if they don't. People oh, still ask what will. item level... Yeah. But they're the still new... going to anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> people still ask every patch, like, oh, what item level is the new crafted gear? And I'm like, it's the same every fucking time. <laughs> uh. yeah they're just reiterating everything that's on the panel right now mm-hmm I wonder, think Shadowbringers fates in 24 mans this time? <laughs> Is that going to be the, the step we get to skip? Oh. How tough it is. It won't be tough. Come on. Relics aren't tough. Come on now. Alright. 5.55 we got all that for Bojda. They're obviously not gonna talk about MSQ. Yeah. Do I have to do near? No. Just do the fates instead. Oh, Yoshi just got my ring. Yeah, that's yours. Desynthesizing yeah, gear obtained from yeah. trials. Listen, I don't like when you guys talk about desynthesizing anymore. Every time I get more and more upset. <laughs> it's just, it's, it never fucking ends for me, all right? You put in so much work for them to devalue it. Yeah. Oh, he's talking about people farming the mains, I guess. Right. You got six months to max out your decent. Yeah. Not doing that. How do you not already have yours maxed out? All of them? All eight? <laughs> you decent everything, don't you? It's like your I thing. don't do anything that gives anything. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. I kind of swore that you do get mm. mains from descending the shields. It's just really rare. It's like super rare. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I think he's just talking about the descent rate. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, no, apparently it doesn't for Fiaco. <laughs> wow. I don't know. Other people have said, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was a bug. <laughs> that's why. Oh, man. That's funny. Yeah, it was a bug. There was a few of them. Yeah, Trials of Gear did not yield materials. Zervin, Biako, Tsukiyomi, Warrior of Light. Okay. That explains why they're very expensive. And oh, they're about to not be anymore. Yeah. <laughs> they're about to be a lot less expensive. Yeah. Oops. Rip that market. Wish I'd saved those 46 Biako totems that I tried to use to get the main. <laughs> oh, jeez. Don't worry, I've got a hundred and like 20-something diamond weapon ones for one day. I didn't, I got them out naturally. I didn't have to save them. That's only 62 clears. Only, he says. It's not only. 99. Only. It's not 99. I'm grateful for that. I had to do Emerald Weapon 119 times. It's been like oof. a month. Yeah. Like I, I did get having like to fix days. this, but oof. Oof. Dude, Diamond Web, but I did like 20 of them a day. I had that shit done in like three days. Jeez. The fight takes like eight minutes. <laughs> All gear obtained. Okay. They're just mm -hmm. fixing it. Basically, he's like, that's weird. Shouldn't work that way. Okay. I mean, it's what I expected. That's why we thought it worked. It just didn't.
It could still be rare if you have low rank. Yeah. The yeah. Thing. It'll just be possible. Listen, man, I'm not that worried. You know, since they announced the hair from Eureka would be in the shop from the Moogle event, I got five of them. And I sold yeah, you them. 10 days to liquidate your stock. And I right managed now. to <laughs> sell all of them. So I'm not that worried Ooh. about this. <laughs> People still bought them for like 700k a pop, even though they were about wow. to be part of the event. <laughs> It's just a matter of people actually having the decent levels for it. To make it, like, more common. Yeah. I mean, of course it's still going to be RNG. It's just how easy. It literally takes 70 seconds to kill Biaka. Yep. <laughs> So you can still do like fifty of them an hour. Yeah, the, the farm rate is so fast on some that you know. Yeah. Supersedes the RNG at a certain point. Yeah, I do wonder if it'll just be like five percent of the time, like two percent. I'd imagine that if your decent level is real low, it's probably like one or two percent now, since it'll actually be there in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, because then we'll get new weapons. Yeah, there's why yeah. you can't wait. Yeah, can't. Hey, some people use these kind of things. The Biako effects are pretty cool. All right. Well, that's good. It's a lot of time to spend on it, but thank you. <laughs> Upcoming schedule. This is from 5.55 through 6.0. So this will probably give us a more solid release date on data center travel. Or at least a better time frame of it. Yes. Make mm -hmm. it rain campaign July 7th. Okay. Thanks, That's man. actually, I guess they're doing it quicker because it was part of um, Halloween last year. Well, they pushed that because of COVID, right? Yeah, they combined them because yeah. of COVID. And then 5.57, 5.58 would be uh, June, July for 5.57. So that's probably Savage Unlocks for 5.57. I'd imagine. Probably. Yeah. And 5.58 is data center travel. Yeah, it's probably like Tome Stones going to 900, Savage being unlocked, mm -hmm. all that stuff. And 5.58 data center travel, so. Yep. Yeah, I gotta get my Reaper and Sage books. Moonfire Fair and the Rising, yeah. Oh man, I can't believe it's another Rising already. Yeah, there it is. There's, I, right? We knew the 15 collab was coming back. It was just a question of when. Yeah. September. Yeah, I was about to say with six months, like they're probably gonna want to bring back a few of the collabs. To fill the time, probably just that one. I think it's the only one they'll bring back. And then Endwalker in November. Oh, I just realized the number at the top was the month number and not yes. the day. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, July 7th. No, it means July is the seventh <laughs> month. Numbers, they mean things. So, no Halloween event again. That appears to be the case. That is strange. No Halloween yeah, the, Unless they were just like, we can only fit yeah, six boring. things on this slide. <laughs> it's just, don't talk about it. You know, they don't Maybe they're going to do a late Halloween for Reaper. <laughs> Stop it. They did mention Media oh, Tour right there. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing specific in there, though. Uh, I said September, October, right? Yeah. Okay. 
Well, I'm gonna keep that. Gonna keep my schedule open about that time. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> It'll be digital though. In NA, it might be possible for it not to be by then. I don't know about everywhere else, but in NA, it's. That's it. I feel like I, that's I, be possible. I think, but still I think that's incredibly optimistic. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah, I think, I think they're gonna play it safe. But that's the. I think if they're, that's the only location it could possibly be physical if at all they can do a physical one in australia they could <laughs> music makes me want to twerk stop <laughs> well go on that. then yeah go on then don't let us stop you <laughs> and now we have ishikawa coming onto the stage <sighs> bowing to the comment sections <laughs> It's gotta be. That's a mistake. I, it's gotta be like, yeah. That's that's of all the people to bow to. That is not. Those are not the people. Those are not the people to show respect to. <laughs> oh, I stand Ishikawa so hard. Most people do. Rightfully so. I just hope that their questions for her are not bad. <laughs> I think we both know the answer to that. No, come on. They vetted these. These have to be good. They vet them every time and they're always garbage. They're always horrendous. <laughs> no, it'll, listen. Just like the near raid, it'll be good. Just give it one more week. And then mm -hmm. another six weeks, probably. Yeah, and he's still talking himself into it. Gotta, he's got to hype himself up. <laughs> listen. I'm giving it a fair chance. You guys just aren't being reasonable. Oh it's had over God. a year of a fair chance. Come on. Ebony, I can't unsee that now. Thank you. God. Unsee what? Love you, River. Unsee what? Ebony said, Ebony, I thought her shirt like said this? anal fantasy because the F and why are you I like are this, so Ebony? close. <laughs> and now oh the next God. time you see her shirt, you cannot unsee that. Nah, it's fine. Uh, I have that shirt. Uh, fuck. <laughs> I modded that person. Fuck. <laughs> I don't. I think you guys are just wrong. <laughs> I just look at the shirt and it looks fine to me. I love the shirt, but yeah, I, I see it. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, it's just. You're ruining America. You're just making me want to buy the shirt more. <laughs> <laughs> Realistically. It, God, that was absolutely. Me sold. <laughs> I only have yeah, me sold. I only absolutely. need one of them. I just, like, I, I, just I really see want it as it's twerk. supposed to be seen. Chat disagrees. I see it. I Most see of it. chat disagrees. I think you guys are just, you, got, you guys are just. I'm going to buy one of those and just get like a little bit of white out. I think you guys are just immature. Stop it, Sly. <laughs> what did you do, Sly? He Keikoed. Oh, God. Which is now an adjective. Or verb, I guess. I mean. Verb. Yeah, it's verb. a verb. Yeah, a lot of Final Fantasy stories are probably a, a lot like that. That's a good. That's a good starting point. I enjoy it more when I understand the theme. <laughs> Personally. Oh, it, it helps. It helps. It, it helps a little bit for me. It's good that she knows she's running for a bunch of dummies. Yeah. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> that helps a lot. Are you including yourself in that? Or? 
Uh, no, we did uh, not that remains see to be the seen. reward for all triple triad <laughs> cards. Remains. It was just confirmed that it was still a thing for five, five, five. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. See, that's not a bad question. That isn't. That's, no. That's good. That's a good question. We're evolving as a gamer base. I uh, yeah, see, my, uh, that's going a little far. It was a good question. We still have an actual Q and A to get to later, which is probably going to disprove that. So, uh, what's it called? Um, no, they do have. Um, they had a forum post open for Ishikawa for Q and A stuff. Mm -hmm. This question yeah. might not come. I'm pretty sure this question is coming from the forums. I'm, I'm pretty sure I read something exactly like this. Um. Yeah, so for anyone who didn't, the question was about uh, if the main scenario writers involved in things that are, I guess, more directorial, like camera angles and, and, and cinematic and cinematic features and stuff, or is it yeah. just like it's she writes it and then they leave it in the director's hands to kind of do with what they will, I suppose. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Mm. All right. So she's she gets more involved in the directorial process. I'm not surprised. I can't imagine writing something like this. I, I mean, that's how it works in normal movies, and what like the writers don't. It's, it's the same as writing yeah, TV. Yeah. Yeah. But there has to be like a way it's it's delivered. Um, but I, with video games, right. I don't know. I imagine that the writers kind of have to be a little bit more involved because it's not it's not mm -hmm. people are acting, but they're they're voicing, and that their acting is done just through the voicing. Everything else has to be pinpointed, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Well, they'd have yeah, this, and then they have storyboard, right and then they do a previous storyboarding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, see, right there, I even said like this is a text-based storyboard. So, yep, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which the flickering is really bad on that one. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't that bad yeah. on the slides. That fucking hurts my eyes. Yeah, somebody just needs Black. to translate that real quick. Black background versus white background. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My eyes. Mm. White background. So they'd take that and probably do an in-engine previs, and then the director mm -hmm. would decide, you know, the shots and angles and stuff. Sure, the Hildebrand director has had a great time historically with that. <laughs> I like to I like to imagine that the people who the people who direct that and the people who direct like the MSQ versus Hildebrand, they saw the Hildebrand facial expressions, were like, we can do something with this. <laughs> we can use this. <laughs> Where should we put the most work into a cutscene? Graha's ears is what we've learned in recent ex in recent times, and Alice's face. Those are the two places that we need the most work. Her hand expressions. Uh huh. And Emmett's hand expressions. This this whole like yeah. wrist motion they they yeah. play like doing now.
Italians approve. Sh- shut up, but yes. <laughs> well, I hope we get one more Emmett hand wave in Endwalker. Somehow. Hi. Oh god, that's right. We don't I, have, I don't have a drink. I got coffee. I can do I can play the high game to coffee. I can survive that. Hmm. Oh. Mm. Like a notepad or like Windows Notepad because Windows Notepad because a no, notepad, I understand they Windows that. Notepad a physical Notepad I understand I guess yeah Notepad plus plus is pretty good as long as it's she imagine she's like no not plus plus just Notepad mm. <laughs> that would be that'd be really unfortunate if she did it all in regular Windows Notepad. I think that might be what she's talking about. The good thing about using Notepad is that you have no peripherals, no distractions. Like, a lot of writers like to use a really shitty old computer that doesn't have internet or even, you know, a typewriter because you can't get distracted by anything. And Notepad sort of simulates that. But she even said that she has her Shadowbringers Notepad with her, so I have to imagine she's talking about a physical Notepad. Hmm, yeah. On her notepad on, fl- on a floppy disk. She saves the files. Oh, man. I mean, this is this is how I write. Yeah, exactly. I get it. I understand a physical notepad more than Windows Notepad, is mm. what I'm saying at the end of the day. So, yeah, she does get to play director. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I just I can't it's not imagine. surprising. But. Yeah, it's, it, well, I mean, again, it's I imagine writers for like a movie or a TV show, they're yeah. not you know, yeah. they're not necessarily in any sort of directorial capacity. Yes, well, the 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 cool thing about doing it for a video game rather than TV or film is that you do the writing and then you go filming and you can't like go back. Right. Whereas for a game, you can kind of come in and out and of the of the writer's room and readjust things like multiple times because you don't have like a film set and filming dates and that sort of structure around it yeah that's and why i imagine that for a video game a writer would be a lot more involved than the directorial process. it's a lot more hands-on yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and you're digitally controlling the camera too so yeah exactly you do. Yeah. yeah you can adjust like the minutiae Day by day. And you don't have to deal with the actors' attitudes. We're going to need to reshoot that. Unless they have uh, the people in the body suits doing the, any sort of capture. Yeah, for some, I guess, yeah. Probably don't do that very often, since most of it's just they use all the in-game oh. animations. They only yeah. do that for, yeah. I think, the cinematic stuff they have motion capture for some of it. Oh my god, the Oh, I think they did they did mocap awful. for the new animations that we saw, like with yeah. Alize doing her. Yeah. That's yeah. why yeah. I, I remember them showing mocap people. Yeah. Yeah. But you're right, it's not very often they normally just use the animations they've already got like in the bank. Asking her how many days it takes to write a quest. That is, that's got to be like a PTSD trigger thing. Like, I know every time Koji gets asked something like that, he just he shrinks. He's like... That's such a weird question, though. Like, it depends on the day, right? Yeah. And the, the quest. So the quest. And the quest, yeah. yeah. And the quest, Depending yeah. on the quest. Yeah.
I do wonder if she is in any capacity on 16 still, since we really don't know. But everyone It'd be consulting. Her. At the very least, yeah. I, I st- no. I'm still okay with that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Fox that makes Fox. sense because, like, voice stuff, you need to pass it up the chain so they yeah. Uh, yeah. can get the voice actors and record it like months in advance. It goes back to your point about scheduling. There's others yeah, involved yeah, there. Yeah. yeah. Whereas, like, blocking for the scene, you can do that, like, the day before you release it. Yeah. You can be adjusting it. Two novels in three months <laughs> when she's busy. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. That's amazing. I like that while she was answering that, you heard Fox calling off camera. She goes, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> project managing? Oh, we know plenty about project managing after the fucking last live letter. <laughs> <laughs> and then Yoshi P recently was like, yeah, we need to redo all that. We need to maybe consider doing it differently. <laughs> Dude starts sweating. Is okay. Yeah. I actually, I saw this question in the thread for Ishikawa. There was a, this was there a lot. This was one of the most asked questions in the scenario writing thread was the Thancred one. He looks more like a dad. He's dad crap. You know, he didn't. He didn't want to look out of place, so he was the only one using a Magitek gunblade. Right. I forgot how tan he was before. I was recently rewatching the the four point four trailer, mm. and he's like really tan. Before. You know, people have been saying this about Yustola. People have been complaining about like Yustola being whitewashed. Yeah. 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 That's interesting. Yoshi P liked that question. <laughs> Mm. Uh, make honey toast. You don't. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> make honey toast. You're right, you don't relax. You, sh- you stress. That's it. Yeah. You, sh- you stress to relax. No, they they make bacon bread. Mm, bacon. <laughs> Great. What's her email address? <laughs> Me- she doesn't get wrapped up in the Gordon Ramsay YouTube channel when she's just trying to work. Because <laughs> that's what happens to me. Sarathi. God. <laughs> oh, she's the so things wholesome. I would have given I, for I that to be the answer. She's so wholesome. Stares into the sky. She's got that Kingdom Hearts vibe right now. Just... I 
her relaxation technique is sleep deprivation. <laughs> right. Well, you know, Let's try that. <laughs> I always think, you know, when I'm going to sleep, how stressed I am about the next day. But if I don't sleep, then I don't have to worry about it. There you go. The next day never happens if you don't go to bed. Yeah, you're just still today. Yeah. She's like, well, I've taken up meditation. It's better than sitting around and doing nothing. <laughs> dun, dun. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> just... <clears throat> Oh my god. Did did she just say 36 That's hours exactly a day? That's exactly what she yeah. just said. Which, mm. by the way, there isn't... Th <laughs> That's not how days work. <laughs> I, fuck, I wish my days had 36 hours. Yeah, I know, right? That would be so nice. <laughs> 36 hours a day. <laughs> Snuck that one in there. Oh, yeah, by the way, I have 36 hour days. Yeah, she just stayed up for one whole day. That's all. Here comes the Final Fantasy 14 crunch stories. Yoshi P makes them work 36 hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what? I bet you. Record. Yeah, I bet you we're going to see that. Just like leave me alone. I'm busy. The P stands for. I feel like fuck somebody off. in an earpiece somewhere was like, "You're a member of the board. Please fix this statement about time." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody was like, "There we go. Oh, that's got to be fixed, please." <laughs> <laughs> that shit looks a bit nervous. Yeah. <laughs> She's called by HR. Jesus. <laughs> what the hell? She's just doing damage control. <laughs> yeah, big time. That's exactly what we're watching here is damage control. Li live damage control. Brought to you by Square Enix. I would have paid if she would like. I'd like to clarify. Uh, they give me yeah. a lunch break. So. <laughs> well, she clarified and said, I'm not talking about Square Enix. And then he still right. was like, yeah. yeah. Let's get on this. Ish, wink twice if you need help. <laughs> this is a cry for help, and we're just not. We're not receiving it properly. Oh, God. <laughs> Can you say the same thing about Keiko? Keiko, blink, please. Keiko, please blink. <laughs> yeah, she's just holding a gun under the desk. He is. He's not a happy camper right like... now. <laughs> You know, it's a shame, too. Like, up. it's it, the only reason they feel they have to do this damage control is because of how sensitive it is uh, oh, you yeah. know, in real life and because how other yeah. companies just beat the hell out of people. Yeah. And uh, and they have to be like, look, we're we're not in this in that bucket. Don't yeah. don't even yeah. hint at us being in that bucket. Yeah. And also how horny Jason Schreier is for it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Saw that in my, car, in my in my Twitch chat. Yeah. Since you brought this up live here in front of everyone, we're going to do your employee <laughs> review now, too.
<laughs> Performance review extreme human relations savage. <laughs> oh, chat. I love ya. I love ya. HR ultimate. <laughs> Challenging new Q&A. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Challenging. Challenging. You can't, can't take it. You can't take it. You guys are out of Fantastic. control. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, she's talking about right now just where she draws inspirations from. And she does, she's basically like, there's nothing in particular. Just sometimes I see something or I'm just like, oh, what's that? And I'm like, I guess I'll go read up on it. Yes, yeah, so it's still part of the line letter. That's like the process the, the for important. most writers is yeah. <laughs> yeah. wherever. Wherever the, it the, comes the from. important takeaway from what she's saying here is that it's about variety. Yeah, because if you only read specific people, lots of different kinds yeah. of things, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Kurt, and I think that's what she was trying to say. Like, in her head, she just wants to keep going and going. And, you know, it's 36 hours, you know, making a joke yeah. of more hours in a day and, you know, wanting to just do her thing. And, and Yoshi P, like, shit says, right no. next to her real quick. <laughs> yeah, any, any creatives can relate to that. Absolutely. Did I actually want to know what she ate yesterday? It's probably fucking good. I'd be okay. I probably got that. a good spread, eh? Yeah. Oh, people looking for spoilers? Hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> some of some of chat's answers are just better than anything. Else. <laughs> What do you do to relax? Hardcore BDSM. Next question. <laughs> that doesn't sound relaxing at all. Next question. Stop wasting my time. <laughs> They talked about Omega, Omega a lot yesterday. <laughs> yeah, just a little. Hmm. Now that is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Too many comments. Yeah, of course they are. Like, wait, I missed a vote? I vote now. Dude, Yoshida has got to be having a blast just reading chat and also realizing how yeah. much of a mistake it is. He's like, I'll just watch Nico Nico. I don't want to read the other ones. All right, old timers. How how long ago, Coil. Ishikawa? Coil. Oh, mm. Yeah, I remember that. Hmm. <laughs> yep.
Such a humble answer. Yeah, yeah it's dude. such like an innocuous yeah. answer. It's like me with Boxman. That might be my favorite answer so far. And if they can't answer, well. No, he's out of a job now. Almost. Mm. Oh, God. Hmm. No, nobody let Jonathan retire. Don't let him. Don't let it happen. We still nope. need him. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I don't think any of them are going to be easy for her. We're, we're of the same mind as Shikawa. <laughs> mm. That's the only way you grow. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Like, wow, I'm really happy with this. Do you look at it the next day? This is fucking awful. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Did Slide just get back from a wedding? <laughs> no, he just looks nice. Have you ever considered that? I perform with the primals. Yeah, you actually do. You're wearing literally Koji's outfit right now. <laughs> you're wearing all their yeah. outfits from the music video. Where's your uh, Where's your little trilby? Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't have that. Yeah. Well, you don't have to wear it until the concert. Why wear it now? Yeah. If you own a trilby, we're not friends anymore, Sly. <laughs> well, I guess you're not friends anymore. <laughs> oh fuck! Say. Yeah. Dickhead mm. option is what I always call the last option. Yeah. <laughs> the, no, really, I'm sick of your shit. Like, come on now. Like lawful, neutral, chaotic. No, I prefer nice guy, eh, and fuck you. Hmm. Mm, this is a good one.
Yeah, you see those people. faces there. <laughs> they should be working. <laughs> <laughs> Final Fantasy. <laughs> we ask everyone to keep the chat clean as much as possible and be mindful of others. We don't want to time out ban anyone if we can avoid it. <laughs> cool. Probably uh, just going to want to turn chat off then if that's the case. <laughs> yep. I've I've gotten to the office early, in fact, before I did this, and it's the greatest. It's the greatest feeling when no one's in the building yeah, yet. There's, there's like, like a, three people in the entire place. It's like, it's like a giant like playroom at that point. You're like, I can just yep. I can run everywhere. I've been there. All right, final question. There's still 30 minutes, so that might be data center stuff. Can't answer that. <laughs> Can't answer. Tell us what's going to happen. I know so it's not. That question is going to be a big old nope. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I can't tell you. Please look forward to it. Do everything. Yeah. Yeah. Do everything. Do the story. No. Mm-hmm. Do literally saying do everything right now. Mm-hmm. Oh. Maybe some auspices in there. Mm-hmm. Good thing I've done it all. All mm. of them? Fuck. All right. I'm not going to remember all of them. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> there's, there's going to be a fucking ultimate job quest. He should have oh, told us about the award-winning MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> <laughs> and it's How? new trial up to level 60. Wait, hey, there's a what? be up to level 70 in like 6.2 or 6.3. Maybe. Yes, you do. Oh, Six months. Two major recommendations that she wants you to do. You don't have time. Binding Coil. I'm not surprised about that, given Vritra and Tiamat yeah, and whatnot. Same. Yeah. Phoenix? Yeah, Louis Suaz got to come back as a phoenix <laughs> again. I actually did that again not all that long ago, and I'm not I'm not sure why. Like, I don't know if I was just taking a friend through it or something for the the that exact reason. I actually need to redo turn 9 and turn 9 savage for Damn trophies. Some of those new trophies are pretty brutal. <laughs> Omega also. Mm -hmm. Again, I feel like this is all tying into dragon lore. That's the yeah, common yeah, thread yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Are 
Yeah. They're drawing that thread right now. The common thread here mm -hmm. is the first brood in Midgard's armor. And space travel. Oh. Okay. That's a nice Fitcher's little the baby. Was the I didn't know they were born at different times. I figured they all kind of just... Mitty just popped them all out at the same time. <laughs> Mm. Oh. Okay, that wasn't terrible. No, there's only like one in there that was like, really? And honestly, the yeah. very last question should have been a bad one. <laughs> but good answer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah really I, I don't I don't know how much credit I want to give to the questions. <laughs> No, but the yeah. answers were phenomenal. Yeah, like even if she twisted the question a little bit and took it in a different, uh, in a different mm -hmm. direction, citizen. Except for the moment where we had to watch mom Ooh, and dad. Ooh, they're doing right another one. <laughs> Fancy what? watch time. Ooh, she's writing an email to the client. Oh, you have it. <laughs> I was gonna say, never mind. You don't even need to write it. Yep. This one's Storm, not not Citizen. This was for Stormblood. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ooh. I can't wear watches. Oh. Oh, I love watches. They're so uncomfortable to me. I'm a huge watch guy. Oh, I love watches. I, I just I need to like I'm, twist my I have wrists. Probably like, like three like dozen constantly. different watches. Like I have darkness to do, model, please. I have to do this. Constantly, so that makes me really. And it makes it really uncomfortable. This makes me really happy because this one they only made for the dev team. And there were a couple of us in Australia that managed to get our hands on one because they just like sent some to the Australian um, PR agency. And they were just like, hey, Ethis, do you want one? <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, why aren't you selling this? Like, it's so... So this makes me really happy. Oh, that's, that's gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Yes, please. That's really pretty. <laughs> so many rings. Mel has one of those rings that he's wearing. I got the um, Meteor one there. No, she has like the not Final Fantasy ring that's on there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh, Chunky. Oh, there it is. That's really nice as well. Yeah, there's there. See, she she heard me. Yeah, I like the dark version. I concur. I mean, they're both gorgeous, but I like the dark version. Mm. It's like light mode and dark mode. I'll always I always go for dark mode. <laughs> <laughs> Same with the watches. Hmm. Yeah, where's the classic mode watch? The bright blue one. <laughs> the shame the date was wrong. Yeah. Oh, that's really uh -huh. cool. That's awesome. Go. Is mine ever on the back? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think you had no idea. You never looked at the back of the watch. I've never looked at the back of my one. Yeah. This is actually Ozium's uh, stone. St That's yeah. the back of my one. There you go. That's really cool. Dude, we always get QVC in the last 30 minutes. It was for the last hour <laughs> in one of the previous levels. <laughs> we, we had two hours of project management, an hour of QVC, and an hour and there's of that this. If you're going to sell me shit, tell, give me volume three. <laughs> give yeah. me volume three. 
Yeah, well, maybe, realistically, maybe. That, I don't think we're going to see it, but... No. Hmm. <laughs> I just love Fox on Wow. Every time, <laughs> just off wow. camera, just all I hear is Ooh. Wow. The velvet box. Yeah. Velvet room, velvet box. Yeah. I'd laugh if the watch wasn't in the box. <laughs> Somebody shanked the damn thing. And he also just dropped the top. Drops it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. And the band. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> She's just laughing at him. <laughs> the citizen rep standing backstage going, if he fucking drops the watch, I'm going to scream. <laughs> okay. So let's look price. at the product information, but also no, <laughs> we don't mm. have any. <laughs> oh, for shipping schedule and price, yeah, yeah, they're four hundred dollar watches essentially. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Mm. Joke's on you. You can't buy the collectors anymore. So now you take all that collector's money and put it toward a watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty normal for watches. Yeah. Well... I've got fifty six dollars in yen, so I'm almost there. Where is my yen? Here it is. There you go. Just kind of just got bands of yen. It's also not a terrible price for just a citizen watch in general. Yeah. It's on the lower side of their spectrum. Yeah, where's Stuart? Does it come with an in-game watch, Glenn? Where, where's, where's the in-game watch that we get with that it? That would be cool. I'm I want my minion with that watch, damn it. It's people Give with me a watch hunch. minion. 100% buy it to get a citizen watch in game. Not a minion. The, <laughs> the stop. No, not the yokai watch. Shut up. <laughs> That's honestly a really good idea though, doing it with a in game watch. Yeah, and it can come with, like, the anime, like, watch emo. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Ching! It's a collaboration. That doesn't sound like an encyclopedia or Zia to me. Well... I'm okay with Maybe this. Maybe a guest writer? Token? <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, I'm interested. Okay. Oh, it's going to be a guitar. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. I realized it immediately. It's a guitar. The guitar Ooh. of Dark Souls. So, Husky and Alex are getting that ASAP. Yep. 
ASAP. The money's already been transferred from their account. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, man. Oof. Now the guitar emote for in-game. Oh, that's it. That's gorgeous. It is beautiful. The, pick, the primals pick right there. I just need Silken to sign them all. Mm-hmm. That's not like a vanity item either. That's a really good guitar. Yes, it yeah. is. That's, yeah. That's not fucking around. Final Fantasy 70 instead. Yeah, I think it's going to be several thousand dollars. <laughs> There's no way it's not several thousand dollars. Please, we, they don't care about us. It's redirecting the camera. <laughs> stop, stop it. Put it on the guitar. <sighs> yeah, but does it come with an emote? That's the <laughs> two thousand dollar emote. This one better come with an emote, a mount, and a minion. <laughs> He's just and a damn it. statue while we're at it. <laughs> just call and a statue. <laughs> can surf the guitar. That's the mount. No, Soken's not a mount. Soken uses other people as mounts. Have you ever seen him on Matt Hilton's back? <laughs> you do not mount Soken. Soken mounts you. <laughs> Maybe that's the mount. It's just him on your back. <laughs> It's like teak. All right, three thousand. All right, three thousand dollars now. Very rare wood. Uh, man, just like the price tag keeps going up in my head here. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Can we finance that or? Jesus. Wow, you couldn't even see that really when it no, was on the couldn't. stand now you can, with the lighting. Huh? Flashlight. Wow. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, how many of these do you think they actually are making? Yeah, that's the other Custom thing. Too. Like order. The price keeps going up as they keep showing features here, and then the mm -hmm. price is going to go up again. It's just a question of how much when they release the limited quantity number. Can't wait to see how much it's on eBay.
each one's individually numbered. Oh mm-hmm. boy. And only three digits. I mean, I didn't think they'd make a thousand of them. Uh oh. Individually numbered means, yeah, once again, that goes way up. Listen, somebody said 98% of the people watching can't afford this. Have you seen their Fantasia sales? <laughs> yeah. And even if that's true, it doesn't mean it's not cool as shit. It's going to be people who don't play 14 who just want this guitar because it's super rare. Yeah. Yeah, have you seen the art commissions on the Reddit page? What? Like- Come on now. Yeah, there's some whales in the community. Yeah, they're like, well, that's why we can't afford it. A button. It plays soak and singing. Limit break switch. <laughs> People I were totally saying it before it. they even said it. Awesome. Okay, that'll be in the concert. He's going to be playing on this guitar during the concert. It looks like he's already pre- like played on it before. Yeah. Can see yeah. A few. Oh, there's no way he some use. As yeah. soon as they let him touch it, he was like, okay, yeah. go away. I can't wait to see this price tag. <laughs> Blah. Nah. What a great description. Wah. <laughs> Wah. Sounds like Wario. Hey. Hey, Eric, can you tell me what a uh can you tell me what a monk limit break sounds like? Bah. Bah. <laughs> I'm going to have my headset on and it's going to be fucking brutal at 2.30 in the morning. How how much does it cost? (laughs) 
Oh, look at that artwork. That's so cool. People are like, now can I buy the artwork? <laughs> Holy shit, that artwork. Yeah, now people are going to be like, can I buy the artwork? <laughs> so we know Alex's uh, Alex and Husky's um, desktop screen. Yeah, we also we also know that their uh, PayPal accounts are probably about to become public. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta fund that shit. Hell yeah. So can just send them one. Yeah, I should. Mm -hmm. Four thousand dollars. There it is. About four grand. It's so actually a little less than that because the conversion goes down. Not, yeah, it's 3,500 USD. It actually says it right there. I was mm -hmm. doing the conversion and didn't realize it actually said. Hmm. They'll start taking pre-orders and in yeah, Australia. They haven't started producing them yet. In the Americas, EMEA, and Australia in late 2021. Yeah, yeah. Fender's, Fender's got a um, uh, factory here. It's like there. the first time that uh, anything. That's cheaper than I thought. The first thing that's I, ever easy, I had it in my head in Australia, at, at five, and it's a thirty-five hundred dollar guitar of all the. Yeah, things. I had it in my head at five k, so I'm actually pretty surprised by the price. I guess I'll be making him to order. Sounds like it. Hmm. Hmm. Anyone need a kidney? I can donate some liver tissue. I don't drink much. My liver's good. And next up on if we stamp Final Fantasy on fucking anything, you'll buy it. We have <laughs> <laughs> underwear. I mean, this is a collaboration. Makes sense, you know. Do they have a, yeah. Do they have a, a Final Fantasy car yet? Yeah. I mean, yeah, kind of. The Audi they made for fifteen. <laughs> they yep. did have okay. that. Yep, that's right. <clears throat> Yeah, where's the yeah? They, they break it out. The Haynes X Final Fantasy fourteen. Now, <laughs> 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 oh, if you're asking what else they're selling in addition to the guitar, you missed the watches. No, it means the next thing. Like, what's the next? Again, underwear. Yeah, the Haynes collaboration. Yeah, but who do you send out to model it? You. You've already, you already got oh, that. Yeah, okay. you've already volunteered. I yeah. mean... I feel like that was a rhetorical question. <laughs> yeah. The you question. need to practice your Manderville poses, Bernie. Yep. Yeah. Hey, that actually kind of hurt my left shoulder for my second shot today. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Wait. Okay, it's just being added. Okay. It's not... I thought you were, like, going to have to buy the guitar. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. 
It's just, it's fine. You don't need to buy the guitar. It it's it'll be in the game. All right. All right. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's so that's awesome. A, no that's no so self inflicted awesome. error on this oh, one. Oh my <laughs> god! I almost I really almost thought that's what it was. That's so good. And the housing furnishing too. Mm hmm. Somebody said that's hipstery on Jay in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Five five. Yeah, it has a tone switch in the game. Good old limit break. <laughs> I agree, chat. This damn thing better have a button that goes blah. That's just gonna just gonna put it. Yeah, I was just gonna say, just stick it on the wall of my apartment. Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. <laughs> Every time Fox Pawn says something, nice. <laughs> nice. You just hear it like it, wow. It's like, in the, just one headset cool. for me too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I want to be like, who is whispering behind me? <laughs> Yeah, I'm still meant to perform sound. Definitely getting turned off if it's not already. Mm -hmm. No, you have one minute. Oh, the merch stuff that they added yesterday. Mm. Encyclopedia. No. It's not going to happen. Give up. <laughs> Just give it up. I kind of want it to happen because then that will mean consecutive streams ended with Ethis like this. Ooh, ruin our minion. Oh. Yeah, I like these. I hope they do more of these. Yeah, these are pretty good. Yeah. I just I just love the aesthetic of like an action figure rather than just the the models, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty it's pretty baller. Hmm. You're going real QVC now. It was it was already oh. before, but she legit is like this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Where's the act now button? Uh, <laughs> lower third and, and time. Oh, I like that. That's really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish they did the Azem um, pin as a pendant. One day. It's on, it's on the watch mm. now, so it's one day. It'll probably get there.
and happy. Normally, these things cost two hundred ninety nine ninety nine. Today, we're letting them go for three payments of twenty four ninety nine. Can you believe it? We have two hundred and seventeen already sold. Let's go to the lines and see what some of our customers have to say. I mean, they are two hundred bucks. <laughs> nailed it! Fucking nailed it! <laughs> Wow. <sighs> what a steal. Yeah. yeah. But Burn, are you throwing anything else with the necklace? I mean, that's great. Well, Sly, that's it's great. very funny you've said that. Because we've got a collaboration <laughs> with Citizen that's going to blow your mind. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Bundle them together, save a hundred dollars. You, know like, you go ahead and do all your lore videos from all this shit. <laughs> Happy, you go ahead and do all your recap shit. I'm taking the last 20 minutes of this, and I am just doing this in QVC fashion. Putting up that'll be my contribution to the content from FanFest. You guys can have the I lore hate, in the I game. hate this. I hate this. It's a hollow book. <laughs> With no <laughs> it's just a box. It's, it's Listen, a it box. doesn't have to be hollow, though. You can put your encyclopedias inside of it. I don't know if that was <laughs> big as tea, though. I hate it. Maybe there's room for three encyclopedias in there. Just enough space. Where? Where's the Reaper? Where's the I Reaper know. That was just, expansion That's launcher. Like, I'm missing two magnets. Yeah. We don't know what the Sage Reaper symbol Reaper. looks like, do we? No, they haven't shown no. us. What no, but they could have shown us right now. <laughs> you know, it's stupid. Sly, I'm like making fun of it, but like every other thing, I'm like, yeah, I'm probably going to get that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm probably going to. Okay, the stole, the, the stole I can skip. That's that's fine. Oh, do I really want a fanny you bag? Need a fa I don't you know. need a fanny Personal bag. Organ <laughs> Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? What is going on? There you go. It opens. Right there for you. That's it for opens. You. <laughs> hmm. Wow. You know, the funny thing is, they do not make almost any money off these things. These are just because they really like doing, like, fashion. Like, lots of accessorizing no. and fashion. Just, they're not going to make a lot of money on any of this stuff. Yeah, it's all about that drip. Toblerone glasses. <laughs> Viewers, ensure you'll never be late for Raid again with our personal calendar book. Oh my god, who <laughs> uses a key case anymore? The wine glasses, yeah. The wine glasses. <laughs> These are so tacky. <laughs> Oh my god. They're kind of cool, but they are so tacky. If those were ninety nine ninety nine, dollars I'd have bought them already. He <laughs> drops them. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, man. I hope you all know whose symbols those are, because if you don't, that's upsetting. Well, it's on the box. Yeah, but that doesn't mean people recognize... Sly, like nothing matters. Well, it doesn't right matter up. if it's right in front of them or not. I'm at the vinyls, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, I saw Cody, um, excessive profanity. He collects Ooh. video game vinyls. Yeah. He got real excited for mm -hmm. these. Oh, that's really cool. Hey, that looks like an Encyclopedia Eorzea, but as a as a as an Stop <laughs> poking the bear. It literally it looks exactly like an Encyclopedia Eorzea, but it's vinyl. He's doing it on purpose now. Jesus. I, kinda, I mean, listen, you got an empty book. You can put that in there, and that's that's pretty close. Oh God. And yeah, Fine, if you're worried about making the mortgage, we'll time. throw in the Final Fantasy XIV fucking calculator. <laughs> 
It'll be it, no, it'll be a Charlene T one eighty three or T I eighty three. Ah, that's so cool. Glow stick. Oh look, Japan only though. I take Dan Gucci. gets me. Dan, get, what is this? An FF fourteen vibrator? Oh, a glow stick. Yeah. It's a glow stick. Yeah, Ooh. I'll get the Charlene calculator and I'll just write ACT on the back. Uh, it's so, an so FF14 vape. <laughs> God. Is it a vape? So burn, I can't I can't see at night when I go to the fridge. Do you have anything for that? This is just This is incredible. A $40 for stick. that thing? $140 oh glow God. stick. Jesus Christ. No, I thought it said it was fifteen hundred yen. That's you that's know what. Like, do it all no, you want. Bucks. As long as you, 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 don't do this monetization. Oh, divided by hundred. Divided by hundred. Do it out of game, I guess. It's like if you have one. Volume Three and now only on Audible. <laughs> 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 that's funny. Uh. <laughs> it's a fourteen vibrator called Little Sun. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, folks, all proceeds go Good to the shit. Australian data center. Good shit. Yes. Great yeah, right. job. I hey, hope this Chicago. was worth it, Ethis. We got to buy all oh, this shit was. so you can have a data center. All right, so I got one takeaway from this live letter is that I should really do the triple triad cards because they didn't say what it was, and now I'm really afraid I'm going to want what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she just Mark Ruffaloed us. you got to wait till you watch well, this next one. Everyone dies. <laughs> No, they did not say what the triple triad reward was. They just what? confirmed no. that it would be in the patch. Which makes yeah. me afraid because they didn't show us that it's something I'm really going to want. <laughs> I got time now. I'm not fishing anymore. Hmm. Sounds about right. See you next stage. I'll see you next stage. Ishikawa, thank you as always. Well, thank for you. fortunately, you probably won't have to be here very long because I think we can just go into discussing the live. Letter. I feel like our live reactions to it were, were pretty much uh, exactly what we would have spoken about in a follow up yeah. discussion. I don't, think, I don't think we really need to dive so too much into we that. We killed two birds with one stone, obvious, obviously. Yeah, so, I'd yeah, say so at good. the very least. Yeah. Uh, I mean, largely in terms of content, it was Boja. I was really hoping they'd go into more detail about data center stuff. But they'll probably do a. You know what it is that they're going to probably do a live letter right before five point five eight, where yeah. they talk about yeah, all the data center stuff. Um, and I assume yeah, that'll be like the primary those, topic. Too. I'm waiting on a new PC. Mm -hmm. Although I don't have a. I'm not doing an eleventh gen Intel. I'm just going to do an AMD for uh, the do. CPU. Yeah, Ryzen fifty eight hundred X. That'll be good. Uh man, Ooh. I just. I. I wonder how bad the grind on those merits is going to be. I'm calling them merits. I'm not cause. I don't even remember what they're called. I've already forgotten. Metal. Metal. No, metal is what the resource is called that you buy the things with. Proof of metal. That's uh, that, uh, proof, yeah, of proof of metal. Of metal. Yeah. Proof of metal. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. And then, and then the system's called honors. The honors. Honor system. Yeah. 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 I'm calling yeah. them merits because my Final Fantasy 11 brain just can't undo that. Yeah. So it, <laughs> they were like, it's really grindy. And I'm like, yeah, but I did Eureka. Like, how realistically, how grindy could these be comparatively? But I guess if we're talking about making Delubrum easier, that's... Uh, it does, yeah, it does suck that there's only one thing to spend them on, though. I mean, that's... <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
I listen. That's, that's damage. Well, right? I'm, I'm going to be honest. God, look weird. I've healed what, what the Lubrum Savage. Here? I've healed the Lubrum Savage, and the H. Everyone having 160 thousand HP, and your heals not getting any buffs at all, really sucks. Let me be honest with you right there. So, I'm uh, I I'm actually kind of grateful for the healing output one, but I'm going to be on Monk next time I go in there. So that's. Uh, that's definitely gonna be that's definitely gonna be a thing. Yeah, it's not that hard to heal, but I don't like that if everything's going to shit as white mage, your heals do like nothing in DR Savage. It's uh it's a it's a hell of a time. Um yeah, I, I think that what what if it's seven hundred and nine thousand metal per per honor, which is what the current cap is at fifteen. It was showing seven hundred thousand on the um Yeah uh, the screenshot. Yeah, and they had a proof. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That might have just been to not yeah. spoil values, though, from, from 16 to 25. So yeah, yeah, maybe. It's hard I to wouldn't tell. be surprised if it was just 700,000 per. Yeah. Um, and I don't think you have to... I don't think they said... I might have been talking over it, but I don't think they said you have to choose one. I think everyone will just go for damage first. I don't mm -hmm. think you have to, like... I didn't think they a said logical. you had to select only, like, a certain number. Unless they said you could only have nine max, and then everyone is trying to figure out how to split them. I might have talked over that, so... It was uh, a lot happened, but yeah, I'm gonna go all DPS, man. That's just it. Yeah, people don't even use essences for damage. Think people who do that are even gonna grind out a single proof? No, no, not not no. An, not a chance in hell is anyone no. gonna do that. Oh I, man, I do wonder if you'll be able to like switch your proof allocation freely. I can't wait till you so. can't. <laughs> So, Burn, uh, you and I know that uh, that is not the case with Merits. You needed to grind out no. more, and, and they did not give you any refunds. This is Final Fantasy XIV, though, but... I think they will, right? Mm, I don't think I hope will. so. I really don't uh, think they will. I mean, that's the thing, though. I don't think they even said that that's a decision. Like, you might just be able to get max in all of them. Like, why even make it this yeah. I think you're just going to be able to max them all. I think that's all they're going to do. Just whatever, however the Each max one's stats. capped out at three, maybe, or something, whatever. Yeah, something like that. I think that's all they're going to do. Yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe, yeah, 200 clusters you can respec. <laughs> yeah. There might not be any singular limit. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. Because I'm definitely just going to run damage. I wonder how much it mm. is. Oh, good. Supercomputers. <laughs> Those are the servers. There you go. Uh, yeah, so that was really oh, the... Cool. the the big thing there, uh, we just got to see a little bit. We got to see there's more of the tech that they've uh, taken from the Ritterana Lighthouse, uh, at least being used there. But man, I just, I really have to wonder. So she mentioned that you really, you, uh, among the things you could do that will help you understand stuff that's happening and, and Walker, she, she obviously, she really said pretty much everything in existence uh, mm -hmm. that we have in the game. But uh, I wonder about Gabroth, because there's no way we're do we're dealing with him entirely here. But Menonias, I'd, I'd assume Menonias, Asinius, they're all going to be Dunzo here. Lion, unless one of them survives for some various re uh, reason. I can't imagine much else happening here. I, I agree with you. I think they're Dunzos. I, I wouldn't be terribly surprised if we take out Gabranth as well, but I'd be a little bit disappointed because he's had he's just he's had so little screen time. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still I'm still curious about the choice though. Like if mm. Gabranth is kind of linked to that choice, um mm. him being the quote unquote big bad. Um, mm. Yeah, you mean the challenging choice, the difficult choice, the yes, <laughs> several new almost choices. impossible to make choice, the yeah, yeah, yes. the Eureka choice. <laughs> Eureka. Yeah, the it matters, but really it won't soon. Yeah, and I can't fucking believe more near quests. Oh my god, why? I was like, so the thing is, the last five weeks of quests, I'm not judging it till it's all said and done. I keep saying it, mm -hmm. but these first five weeks yep. of quests were fucking awful. Yep. I'm just going to say it. Mm -hmm. They were yep. fucking awful. And now mm -hmm. there's more. <laughs> mm -hmm. I told you it was bullshit second week. Like, I tried to give it a chance first week. Second week, I told you it was complete bullshit. I had a video lined yep. up for next week, too. I recorded I recorded a video of me deleting my character and it just cutting to, like, the end screen of ending E in Automata. <laughs> and then and then Aloha shows up and meows and the video is done. <laughs> and now I can't release uh, I like that video. That. Now I gotta wait. 
Or now I gotta do an interim one or something. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I poor don't thing. No. I. I. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. This. Um. Like I can appreciate the position they're in. Right. Six months until the X Pack. They drop. They dropped all the the core information a few months ago, and then in the keynote and. We've already known basically 90% of officially of what was coming to 555, and we knew uh, the other 10% was pretty easy to guess for anybody that's even just a you know a casual player, a consistent but casual player. Uh, all that said, I almost feel like this live letter was only done because there would have been questions about where was the live letter. And they didn't want yeah. to answer that. This was very, very disappointing for a live letter. Um, I didn't expect a ton, but even like my expectation was already low because of everything I put at the beginning of this this little sentence. Right, and that fa it failed to meet the expectations there. I liked the QA. I didn't think all the questions were total crap. I thought the answers were good and entertaining. Mm -hmm. Uh, but that's, you know, that's not live letter stuff, usually, um, or at least what you're looking for. They include Q&As in most in, to some degree. But yeah, I just I just got the impression that this was done because they felt like they had to do a live letter at FanFest. And so let's do mm -hmm. a live letter at FanFest um, more than let's deliver a live letter at FanFest. And, and maybe that's just me. I don't know. Well, to be fair, um, I'm trying to compare to past FanFest live letters because they, the, the ones that we've actually been to in person, um, they, now that you say it, they don't really compare well to the actual, you know, legit live letters that where we're here, we're, we're home and we're watching it. Like, yeah, FanFest live letters, like, aren't all they're cracked up to be. I mean, we had the the one at uh, NA Fan Fest for Shadowbringers well, was largely about yeah, like Blue Mage. That's why I say I go yeah. into the live letter yeah. ones that are done at yeah. Fan Fest with low expectations. But yeah. even I, I, this one just failed to deliver on those low expectations for me. And I think a lot of it has to do with normally, when we talked about this yesterday a little bit, right? Normally, all of this information is spread out over three full Fan Fest right. festivals. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Now it was condensed into two to a global audience, and they used the keynotes at both to get all the big information out to the global audience. Yeah. Uh, and so I can appreciate the position, but yeah, I mean, there's not even a lot of analysis to run here. There's really, I mean, you got a date, but if you didn't already guess that it was probably May 25th, then I, I don't know what to tell you because it was pretty apparent it was going to be May 25th yeah. when they said late May. Um. Yeah, I'm I glad I was there for the QA, but uh, I could have gone without the 20 minutes of QVC at the end of it. Not that I don't find myself flipping through the stupid Square Enix store with nothing else to do, finding something to spend money on. I I don't begrudge them selling the product or anything, but uh, yeah, it was just kind of okay. Uh, are we done yet? Are Are we done yet? <laughs> is this live letter over yet? Memphis and I know the epitome of that more so than, mm. yep. than most. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> Look, Memphis, I think the thoughts? yeah, yeah. The, the the essence of it for me is the keynote yesterday had two hundred thousand CCV on Twitch, mm -hmm. and yep. the live letter had forty thousand. You yep. gotta front load the cool shit. You gotta front absolutely. load the exciting yeah. stuff mm -hmm. um, because. You know, that's what it is. That's what the uh, event is about. And um, it's only natural that live letters, and, and again, this is the case with every fan fest, the live letters are more about like the the more like hardcore fans that are sticking around there and getting into more kind of like specific sort of nitty gritty stuff that is not quite as sexy, but still, you know, pretty interesting, right? Like, like interviews with uh, team members and you know, and also pushing products like selling, selling merch is always what FanFest has been about because it's what pays for FanFest, really. Like, yep. they yeah. do not make much money. No, you run these kind of events at a deficit. There's, I don't think there's a single company yep. who runs an event like this to make a profit. They all yep. run them at a deficit. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So it was sort of emulating the FanFest experience, but when we're not sort of amidst it and in the atmosphere and in the hype and like everything is so exciting, even like, you know, a relatively weak live letter is going to feel awesome because you're surrounded by all your mates. You're probably all half drunk <laughs> and you're having a party, you know? And like, y you can only simulate that to a certain extent for a digital event. And I think they're doing a, a pretty damn good job with it so far, but yeah. um, you know, for just, me, just is what it is. For me, the big thing is this, this reminds me is something I say every time we get a live letter, live letters that are split between the patch information and a Q and a, and they always did a QVC mm -hmm. section like this, even in the, the ones from home and the ones from home yeah. are normally a lot longer of a QVC section as, as we're, we're kind of, <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, just a little bit. Um, it reminds me my number one criticism about most live letters as uh, a non uh, Japanese speaking individual is that I don't get to actually enjoy the Q and A's. I just get to read about them later. And this mm -hmm. was a reminder yeah. that having the, the translation, I actually got to enjoy that is the thing. Most of the time I'm sitting there, you know, waiting for someone to type text onto a screen. So like three minutes later I can be like, Oh, ha ha. That's what they said. Um, yeah. And that's that's the number one thing I pulled out of this because Ishikawa's answers, even if the questions weren't always so stellar, were certainly worth her insight into things. And even things like the project management Absolutely. one that we made fun of so much yeah. probably would have been significantly easier to get through or enjoy if you know we could understand that. But that's a language barrier problem. That's a time problem, also more than yeah. anything else. And uh, yeah, it just makes me wish. Is that is that what I think it is in the back? <laughs> that's on the stream right now. Uh, no, that's a Orzia Cafe. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, that's, okay. That's what it is. Yeah. See, at this knew what uh, I thought Tarkov, it was, what? though. <laughs> Tarkov, what'd you think? Uh, like you guys said, there's not a lot of meat on this bone. Um, so you just got to have to take what you can. Kino did most of the work uh, for getting our hype up. And this, again, l little minutiae is the stuff here. But three biggest takeaways that apparently there's 36 hours in a day. So that's nice. <laughs> Um, you're right. I cannot uh, not see anal fantasy on that T-shirt, and I need to figure out how to come up with four hundred dollars for that watch because that was a s pretty sick watch. Which means the key yeah. section worked. Yeah, it did its job. It did its job. It did its job. Yeah. And now I'm sitting here wishing they posted the these recipes. I'm helping pay for that uh, data center. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. I think the guitar I'll probably helps more because it's in. Yeah, they come out of Australia. Like they make them in Australia. So if you buy the ones from Australia, then yeah, I can't believe those drinks. Yeah, I, uh, you can I, you can find most of the drinks online. I remember I pulled up a list of the okay. drinks. Um, in fact, okay. I'll find it because uh, I, I remember I looked at those to see if I wanted to do uh, if I wanted to do a different one other than the Ardbert one. There's the Orzia Cafe at home. Um, there's the guide to actually buying a ticket to Orzia Cafe. <laughs> Which does need a guide if you're, you know, not from Japan, because it is quite the time. Mm -hmm. uh, Eric's a cafe extreme. <laughs> no, it really, like, it's it's not that difficult to do, but if you're not from the region, it's it's infinitely more difficult. Here's all the yeah. food items. Where's the drink menu? Oh, here it is. Yeah, there's the Odin drink, which is a Bayav it says Bayavad Vodka, grape syrup and tonic. You have the drink of Ifrit, raspberry sauce, lychee liqueur, and blood of orange juice. Yeah, they have literally all of the drinks, what they're made up of. Sounds pretty good. So um, it's literally just on Final Fantasy's wiki, like the Final Fantasy top fandom. Yeah, so you, if you want any yep. of those drinks, you can get them. They're all And they're all pretty easy to make. Pine they got the... Then you got a non-alcoholic one on here. You've got Bahamut's drink, which is lemon syrup, black pineapple liqueur, and soda of choice. I'm not Quick a big question fan here. of that either. Since I don't, uh, not, not up for most of these live letters, yeah. have we ever seen such damage control on that working condition <laughs> yes. situation so, yeah. before? So, so we want to know the funny thing is Never. my favorite damage control was not one that was so much um, on the spot. As much as it was preconceived is when they were talking about 2B's ass. And he spent literally okay. 30 minutes going like <laughs> this, just constantly yeah. trying to describe the development of, of the ass that came with the thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, was, that was one of my favorites. Um, I'm sure there has been, but there's been so many live letters that... Yeah. We see it more often at like media events where there's a really dumb or inflammatory question from 
you know, oh, someone in media. Oh my god. <laughs> and Why? Yoshida just has don't to like fucking remind me. Please don't. Holy shit. Uh I love watching it though, because because you realize that like Yoshida, you know, he's so chill and he's got like this this persona and this gravitas, but he's also really good at PR. And you see like a switch kind of flick and he's just like so on the ball and so professional that it's really really cool to watch them telling the guy to stop at talking is the best part really because they're like uh there's yeah. other people yeah. here that want to ask questions yeah. so can you just shut the <laughs> yeah. fuck up real quick yeah oh, that was really God. brutal man that's yeah um the other damage control one with working hours was mahjong as chat pointed out the guy who made it mm -hmm. didn't make it mm -hmm. like on the clock he did it in his own mm -hmm. time when he was developing it at first and uh, Yoshida was like, I didn't make him do it. Yeah. He chose that, so that's I really the closest out ahead thing. Of it. Yeah, so he jumped out ahead of that one, like, big time. Yes, for anyone wondering, we are referring to the, the brothel question. ERP question. I, it's, yeah. You know what the worst part oh is? When people God. from North America media are like, just don't do a North America thing any, anymore. Just don't even bother. Like, I don't even want to be associated with. You know it's bad. But it was just that one dude, though. Like, all the other questions were great. It was just yeah. that one person. Yeah, Every and he kept following it up and following it up and, like, yeah. talking over Yoshida and trying to take up, like, half of the fucking uh, panel with it. It's like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. And we were just, like, back there just kind of whispering amongst each other. Is this fucking... I was about to stop. I came real close <laughs> to telling that guy to shut the fuck up. I came really close. Like, I was like, oh, listen... <laughs> I will break all professional demeanor to ask you to please uh, kindly shut the fuck up. You know, it, it actually it actually bit me on the ass a little bit because I was making jokes about it at the London media tour, and um, one of one of my friends that I was talking to about it was like, "Yeah, that guy's like a really good mate of mine. I worked with him a bunch." And I was like, "I wouldn't care. I'd be like, then he's not. <laughs> then you don't know him." He needs you need to tell I, I was. I was like, I was like, well, he, yeah, Great, yeah, that's basically what I did. <laughs> I was like, yeah, well, he fucked up. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I guess he did, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, he, he was oh, good, goodness. but, uh, you know, you're not supposed to hit the mm. bar before the interview. Mm. Yeah. Last I checked, at the very least, it might be in Vegas, but, uh, dude needs to fucking relax. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's unfortunate because, I, again, the real thing I wanted to hear about was the data center travel because they let, not even let slip, but yesterday they did make mention that they said, you know, that you could do duties with this feature. And the yep. capacity of that is still unknown because they, they were pretty open in at least stating there's more restrictions without stating what those restrictions are. And that's honestly the biggest question anyone has right now. So I think I feel like like you said earlier, that's gonna be a like the next live letter, that's gonna be a really, really big chunk of that live letter is just I think that's the whole live letter. Better. I don't think it's gonna be about I think it's yeah. gonna be that and another Q and A session and then more QVC yeah. and then we'll be done. Well, yeah. I think we need to get a big PvP live letter before expansion. Oh, yeah. yeah. You just you want to so? smoke. That's the only reason why you've done <laughs> I, I smoke during the QVC stuff. <laughs> no, I really, I, I really, really think they need to. Yeah, you know, I they're know. saying like we're we're yeah. doing you know big PvP changes, new PvP mode, blah blah blah. Really want to push it. Like they still got a dedicated PvP team on staff, as far as we know. Um, and they really gotta like, they've either got to step it up and convince people to give it a shot, or they need to mm -hmm. like uh, move on, put the resources somewhere else. Do you think they do that in the the whole three hour um, pre expansion broadcast, like where they're going over everything? I, I would expect them to do it there as well. I would expect that mm. um, we'll probably see a lot of it at the the media tour. We we saw like there was a huge uh, part of the Stormblood media tour. You guys remember was was dedicated to the PvP changes there. Yeah. Um, to see, that's what I was, was like, thinking. Was like, that's where I was thinking yeah. it was going to be. Yeah, but they, they've got to do it as part of a live letter, like, as well. Because everything that we ever see in the media tours, they do end up putting in a, a subsequent live letter. Mm. So uh, I'm, I'm expecting that. I was expecting to see a little bit of that today, and I'm 
kind of surprised that we didn't. I thought but, we um, were going to get it. I mean, I had the cigarettes <laughs> and the ashtray ready because I thought that was going to be part of this live letter. <laughs> I mean, I ended up using them anyway, but I seriously. Yeah, I they made sure because, that you were I well thought taken it was, care of. Since it wasn't in the keynote, I thought, okay, that's going to be in the live letter then. <laughs> no, I, I didn't think that they were going to talk about it. I thought there was a chance, but it was not something I figured because I think you're, I figured they'd do it way later down the line because I figured that's probably something they know so little I mean, it's about. not like they don't have time, right? <laughs> yeah. They didn't. They got you plenty see how of time. That was. Yeah. Oh, you meant. Oh, you meant before the launches. I thought you meant turn the live. Right, 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 right. <laughs> they didn't have time to turn the live. They meant one. time, not location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I. I mean, they definitely have to talk about that at some point in greater length. But how much length? I don't really know. I guess it. It depends on what the scope of the change actually is, because we're taking their word for the, the scope of it in a sense of like how it's a massive overhaul. That like they're going to disable ranked feast yep. for it temporarily, yep. um, and the incentives. It, but I don't know how much time that really takes to discuss. As like that, they needs to be like its own huge thing. It needs to be present. But I don't. I don't really know if it needs to be as present as like they are changing all the PvP hot bars to be separate from the PVE hot bars kind of thing Mm. because it's just like this is the new mode this is how many people it features this is how the rewards are done and yeah that's going to take like an hour hour and a half but i can't imagine it taking Mm -hmm. any longer than that person yeah but i mean an hour hour and a half is like that's a full that's a full live letter you do that and then you do you know a q a with the pvp team that's a live sometimes it's a full live letter sometimes the live letters are four hours and we we wish they were done in an hour and a half yeah yeah that's fair that's true yeah so uh <laughs> I'm never gonna let that live letter. That was a that was it was is so difficult. I'll never never let it go. Uh, uh, we had fun. <laughs> yeah, sure did. Sure did. So sure, yeah, absolutely. Um and yeah, so those are those are the next big things to look forward to. And the five point uh I guess I guess towards the end we'll get the job action one. I there are people who are definitely still expecting job action stuff for some reason during this. <laughs> Uh, no, we won't see a job action trailer until after the media tour. Yeah, that yeah. was honestly kind of one of the bigger takeaways. They kind of just slid in there was the mention of a media tour, which most yeah, of us September, had, October. Yeah, most of us had kind of just written off the possibility because, uh, quite frankly, um, I don't know how safe they feel about like a, a remote one. I there are other, other companies do it. It's not an unheard of thing. Yeah. I know. I've, I yeah. I know that other companies do that, but Square Enix is always very tight knit with things and so the idea of that mm-hmm. being uh i guess even an option is it's just a, it's a slight surprise to me mm. because uh i think it's even though it seems like it's still a ways away and like i know us in the states have started getting vaccinated the idea of doing a physical one is still kind of a fleeting idea mm. Which and doing a digital one is also very time consuming because yes. they do them as as one-on-ones with every single media every single influencer they get someone from the the community team or or the marketing team or whoever's available to basically do like remote access and walk them through in like a one-on-one situation for for two or three hours at least i i I think that's how um ubisoft tends to do it right i don't know i just know that companies do it i don't know what the process is like so uh, I, i wouldn't be surprised if we see something like that that's a hell of an undertaking it, yeah yeah it is yeah but i mean listen if if it means that there is one it still won't it won't be the same it's like it's like this fan fest being a fan fest but not being you know like fan fest you know yep. mm-hmm. so i'd imagine it being very similar where it's not like i like some of the best moments of media tour aren't even just checking the things out it's seeing the other people and like leaning over and being like yo did you check this out yet yo yeah <sighs> yeah yeah I remember Machinist. I literally leaned over to Mary. I'm like, they did it. <laughs> they did it. All right. <laughs> and that's not really going to, I mean, no, I no. guess, I guess if, if anyone who attended is, or, or participates is like, they just hit up the discord DMS, but I don't like the idea of communicating mm. that way about yeah, such, such sensitive information. So mm-hmm. that, uh, a part of me is almost at least hoping in the States that, it's possible, but the rest of the world, I think, is going to be a lot tougher to consider whether or not they would even even just even be possible. So, uh, mm. fingers crossed, but we'll see. Not not expecting much of anything, but only time will tell. 
Um, anything else that we need to touch upon? Uh, the current thing on right now is only the Glamour to Life showcase. If you're interested in, obviously, the cosplay-related stuff um, that they're going over right mm -hmm. here, there's that. Um, the live Q&A will be in about an hour and a half. So that'll be hilarious, mm -hmm. most likely. Uh, not much else. I mean, Ish Ishikawa said do everything to tie in 6.0, but yeah. specifically, particularly, do Coil and do Omega. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so if you haven't done those for whatever What's reason... What's the common thread there? I wonder what the thread going through mm -hmm. might be. There. Interesting. There I think it's a few dragons that go, Bwah! All right. Bwah! Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a combination of dragon stuff and, like, outer space stuff. Space travel. Yeah. Well, space and space and lovely A family. Space Durgans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and then we learned that Vertra is the youngest. The youngest. Um, mm -hmm. Which has got to be, like, pretty arbitrary, given that they're all, you know, around 12,000 years old. What is yeah. he? the the youngest by, like, a couple of weeks. <laughs> well... Yeah, I'd have uh, to imagine you that... Yutola playing guitar was the best art of the show. Yeah, Blosh Tola, mm -hmm. as Chad has now called her. Oh, that was... Yeah. She just presses the blah button, and she's Blosh Tola. 100%. There you go. Um, yeah, that's about all I got, too, is I'll probably redo Omega and Binding Coil, because it's yep, been a while. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Louis, Louis Swa scene's always a good scene to, to look back on. And oh, yeah. yeah. That's always a top-quality... Seen to replay. And I got to redo them for trophies anyway, so hey. Yeah, there you go. Do you guys think that we might actually see them do like a CGI, like a full CGI cinematic somewhere Finale. to cap off the 6.0 MSQ? Yeah, I've seen a few people suggest that and I'm all for it. I, that would be so good, honestly. Mm -hmm. Anyone else mm. on that expectation? Anyone else? Uh, I, I mean, I don't know if it'll happen, but I would love it to. I would yeah. absolutely love it to. Yeah, that'd be but phenomenal. I don't, I don't. I I can't decide like off the top of my head if I think they would do it or not. They should, but I I don't know if they would. Well, because the the content is still there. They still want to encourage people to go play it, not just you know, hand them fourteen the movie. Uh, I don't know. True. I yeah, would the love big, for the, the big game, stopping though. point is definitely we're going to go from our character to Ardbert <laughs> or from to Derplander <laughs> being in the cinema. Right. <laughs> Probably right. they'll. Uh, you know what they? You know what they'll do? They'll they'll have us shrouded in light, and then Ardbert will step out of it, and they'll just use him for the whole thing. Ah, there you go. Yeah, it'll yeah. be Ardbert getting like one last bit of redemption or something, and it'll just see like a hand or something like stretch out. That'll be the representation of our character. There you go. Fixed. I mean, you to be honest, like right the right last there? one. The last time we've had something like cinematic like that, they had Bahamut come in and destroy the game to rebuild it. So, um, like, kind of, I mean, it is the end of an era, so to speak, but it's not along the lines of hell. We don't need a fucking primal to destroy the game so we can rebuild it. I mean, it's, it's got, got, it's a good feeling, but mm. I don't know if they would, I don't know if they would, um, you know, cutscene it. In, in that regard, and we did, even though we did talk about like, this is something completely different, but in, in the same vein, so to speak, didn't we talk about like or bring up um, engine recently, like upgrading engine? Or I mean, people engine? want it, but it's probably not happening anytime soon. Because I we, what we what we, ta what we talked about was um, Xbox offering to help them with DX12 or Microsoft offering to help them with the DX12. Uh, and then we, that was just in the same vein of the discussion where Yoshi P said that they, they're not even working on an Xbox version right now. They're just focusing on Endwalker. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know if they'll ever do a CG, I think for an engine update though. I think an engine update is, I don't think it would be a lore based engine update. You know, it'd just be an engine update. Like PSO2 is getting an engine update. And the original, like the the original game, is going to be updated to the new engine as well. You know, so I agree. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I think they will do an engine update at some point. And I think, <laughs> as much as it's a joke at this point, I think they probably do want to put it on Xbox at some point too. But I don't think that's happening anytime. I don't even think by seven point oh that'll have happened. I do think we'll have DX twelve by seven point oh, or maybe by then DX thirteen. I don't even fucking know. Hmm. But well, that's uh, that's a wait and see kind of thing. All right, well, if there's nothing else to touch upon, I know 
that some of us have to get going or some of us have our own plans for this evening to enjoy the fan festival content. So uh, let's do our little wrap up here and then we can all go on our separate ways. I know I got to use the restroom and grab some food before I continue on. You've had to pee for like four hours. I literally had to pee before, (laughs) like literally a minute before we started, my bladder went, you got to pee. And I'm like, no, no. I don't. (laughs) No, I don't. No break. You can't make me do that. It's I'm literally starting the intro right now. So let's get to that. So thank you again, Relic Grind, Ready Check Radio. Thank you both for coming on. And thank you again, Burn and uh, Yacht. Thank you for, for the invite. It was a blast. With the art. Yeah. Good so, times. So thank you. If you can uh, tell them where they can find you guys at. We started with Burn yesterday. We'll start with Burn again. Let's keep it consistent. Thank you. So yeah, you can follow us uh, right here. Hi, chat. That's Ready Check Radio, a site I started about four or five months ago. If you followed Happy and I on Game Breaker back in the day, this is very much a spiritual successor. We've got three podcasts running, one on Tuesdays for Blizzard, uh, World of Warcraft, and other Blizzard titles. One on Thursday called The Relic Grind for Final Fantasy XIV and All Things Square Enix. And Saturday we run a general gaming podcast, as well as a huge team of uh, streamers that volunteer their time to just hang out throughout the week. The schedules are available right there you can follow us on twitch and you can check out the site there for all the other socials the youtube and facebook and all that stuff there's you've got about four months of podcasts to catch up on we'd really love to have you join tarkoth and i and our co-host chronos uh adam lane on the relic grind and thurs on thursdays and hang out for other stuff and if you feel it in your heart as we're just starting up here over a couple of months give us some follows tell some friends spread the word if you can't make it every week Make it whenever you can. We'd love to see you, and we would very much appreciate it. And Haps, Sly, Ethis, my boys, it is always fun. Thank you. It's been a wonderful weekend hanging out with you, having fun, and talking about Final Fantasy. It's always a good time. Mike, where's the Atlas show? Yeah, right. <laughs> Sly and I are still in contract <laughs> negotiations for, yeah, for the Atlas yeah, podcast. We're, we're working on that. We're working on it. We're working I look forward it. to it. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at uh, Tarkoth Gaming. Also find me on Ready Check Radio Saturday and Sunday nights. Uh, I'll be doing Near Replicant here tonight uh, as soon as I'm done here. So tune in for that. Uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. It's been uh, my thank honor. Thank you so much I, for coming. It's awesome. Thank you. All right. And now FS who's uh, still jamming uh, yeah, out to yesterday's can... news, I can see. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I just, I can't, like, it's a dream. I can't get my hand around it. Uh, but you can find me, Ethis Asher, in many places, but particularly uh, Twitch, YouTube, and at Twitter. Uh, there's going to be, you know, stuff coming down the pipeline. Actually, let me let me check. I made, I made a list. I have to make lists now. I, I always, like, want to do things and then immediately forget. Uh, so I want to do, these are not promises, I want to do a video on Vertra. I want to do a speculative uh, Reaper law video. I want to do a video dissecting the lyrics. Uh, and um, I'm wondering, I'm going to go back through all the footage we've gotten to the zones, and I'm wondering if we have enough to do a law tour, if I should wait for the media tour. But um, we'll see. So there should be some stuff coming down uh, the pipeline on the channel when I have time for it. So please uh, look forward to it. And if there's anything in particular that you want to see, then, you know, just like shoot me a message in, in the places. If you don't and want to forget always, things at this, you should use a mm-hmm. notepad. Yeah. Oh, I should. Yes. Yeah. Notepad yeah. or MS notepad. Either one works. Yeah. I need that extra like eight hours in the day, though, to really take advantage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. um, really an extra 12 my, hours. My, well, 12, 12 hours. Extra 12 hours. Yeah, of course. Yeah. 36 hours uh, in a day. Uh, yeah. Well, then I need another four to do the maths. Um, Mike, Sly, guys, thank you so much, as usual. Um, you know, it doesn't quite... It's not quite the same as hanging out in person for FanFest, but um, right. it was really cool to, you know, be able to spend the weekend with you guys. It's, uh, yeah. it's good. It's good times. Yeah, it was all right. So... <laughs> it was okay. It was all right. Uh, I will pass the buck over to you, Sly, and why don't you tell us what you're planning on, on doing over the next couple of days and weeks? Oh boy. Well, you can find me at twitch.tv slash sly aka Gray Fox. You can find me on Twitter at Sly the Fox. Uh every year we like we as content creators have this one month or a couple of months, like could be spread out, that I like to call hell month. So this is partially my hell month. Because tomorrow, <laughs> um 
tomorrow I get to kind of get dolled up again because I'm playing detective because we have murder mystery with Famicom Detective Club. And then, of Ooh. course, we are waiting on um, the patch. And then, of course, um, there's more Rise uh, content at the end of this month. And I've probably fucking forgot something else that was coming out. But yeah, there's something else like, like hell months are so terrible and I hate it, but I love it because it keeps us busy and, you know, like it, it gives you content. So you love to hate it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I'm doing Nocturne, tomorrow. You oh, forgot. Well, oh, yeah, Nocturne. You just you mentioned it yesterday. Forgot. Yeah, you mentioned it yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yes. This so, is not um, making those contract negotiations look good, Sly. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I mean, so I, I, hell, I have to still finish um, hard type before I go back and speed run normal Nocturne. So, yeah, like Nocturne this week. We'll probably do some Nocturne uh, hard type before, even though we'll probably finish it, but we'll speed run normal. Uh, but yeah, yeah, just a lot of stuff. Um, taking tomorrow off because, like, Fan Fest, need a day to recoup and then we'll do some murder mystery. Yeah. Hell month. Great. I hope to see you. Um, Mike, where can they find you? What are you doing? Uh, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram. Busy. Busy. I have some video ideas as well that are coming down the pipelines as well. Some of them lore based, some of them speculation based. Uh, on top of that, uh, Sly mentioned the hell month. We didn't we didn't really sync up on the, the games that are there. But I mean, there is seven intergrade next month. There is PSO2 mm -hmm. New Genesis, which has its beta this weekend, but will be releasing, I believe, next month. Uh, there is, I'm still waiting on some release dates for titles like Ruined King for League, which I desperately want to play. Uh, Rise at the end of the month. The base game finishing at the end of the month, essentially, is, is what's happening there since they had to release it on schedule due to the pandemic, but they they do free updates, so it's fine. And the free updates have been good. That's all that matters. Uh, Ratchet and Clank's on my on my radar, but I doubt I get around to it. Not to mention, I've been playing 14 more than I think I anticipated I will be. I still have to play 11's 19th anniversary and all their story updates they've done over the past four or five months that I haven't kept yeah. up with. Oh my goodness. Uh, we 19th have 19th anniversary. Yeah. And uh, we have E3 week, which will probably be a big news week. So we might have some TVGs. We're hoping to see something 16 related, of course. That's that's big on everyone's watch list here in particular, I'd imagine. Uh, there's some other things to look out for, but I, I'd assume that that's those are bad. Anyone with hopes for Elden Ring? No? Okay. All right. I mean, not expectations, but hopes. Hopes. They're like this small. Okay. At this point, I'm likely to believe Armored Core more than Elden Ring. <laughs> I want to believe Armored Core more. I'm in that. I would. I would love Armored Core. Armored Souls. Just give me Armored Souls. Tentative <laughs> hopes. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, there's there's a lot on the docket. So I'm not really worried about how long 14 will or won't have stuff for me to do. Because uh, man, let me tell you, after fishing for the last several fucking months, I think I can make anything work <laughs> at this point. Because I got, I'm only having, I only have about half the triple triad cards, and if that is a good reward somehow, then uh, let me tell you, I'm about to need more than half. I'm about to need about another 160. I think I need to complete my collection. Ooh. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, we got some stuff coming, and I get my second jab tomorrow, so I am also taking the day off. So I'll sleep until like two in the afternoon, and then I'll go get my second jab at three, and then I'll hope for the best from that point on. Uh, not to mention, we have a new cat that I'm keeping an eye on. Of course, Mel and I are keeping an eye on frequently. So, Ivy Rose is the name of the other cat. We have Aloha, Dwayne the Cat, Johnson, and Ivy Rose. So, please check my socials for cat pictures. I'm trying to post equal pictures of Aloha and Ivy so he doesn't feel neglected. Aww. Because that's a concern. You're a good cat, Dad. No. Aloha, check in the Twitter. Uh, yeah, Aloha's like, I noticed you posted three pictures of me on Twitter, and only uh, you posted three of me and five of Ivy. Mm. Real interesting. I that can imagine sense. Aloha being your special media manager, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Except it's all about him. He just only watches his own photos. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, we've got, we've got plenty of plan. I'm, I'm super, super excited about a lot of the stuff that's coming up. And I plan to play the shit out of Bozja when it finishes up and get that story. We'll have, of course, Ayer Zivia for the show, a lore show on it as well, because that'll be a big thing, no doubt. So 
And expect TPGs, especially if we get anything on Final Fantasy 16 anytime soon. So with that, thank you everyone for joining. I will be continuing on into the night with the Cadgar link when it decides it wants to work, when Twitch doesn't randomly purple screen it or block it, which you can usually fix with a refresh. And uh, we'll get to watch the Q&A and we have Gillionaire later. Good luck. <laughs> thank Good you. For you. Don't be, for just, just, yeah, well, you should. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. you really yeah. should. I'm really <laughs> interested in how this is going to go. <laughs> I'm really interested. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, me too. Me I don't want to check my socials yeah. while that's happening. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to check my socials for like a week. I don't want to look at my socials at yeah. fucking all. I am adding both of these assholes during. I might. I like, might actually be deleting my Twitter after. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm not You're kidding. You're going to delete it. I'm not kidding. <laughs> How do you think I feel? Uh, you right. should have deleted yours a long time ago. Now, who am I, Fold? Come on now. <laughs> He's got Ooh. deleted for him and he made a new one. So. Got him. <laughs> okay. Got him. With that, everyone, we're going to move on very shortly into post show just to wrap up for the YouTube cut you know it's the same way we always do it so thank you everyone for joining we'll see if whenever the next show ends up being we'll definitely take a break next week no doubt we're not doing a show next week after this week so enjoy the the mm. packed state of the realm schedule and uh the show after that will however be about bozja um because that will be out at that point we can do a show that friday if both of you are okay with that uh, on the 28th if that's okay mm -hmm. maybe maybe <laughs> that's difficult for me to call right now Okay, <clears throat> let me like yeah. keep keep me in the loop. As if we have to change it, we will because we're not doing that show without you. All right, yeah. perfect. Okay, thank you everyone for joining. Enjoy the rest of Fan Fest, and we'll see you next time. Until then, bye bye. Bye bye. Have a great Fan Fest.